You sweat. You sweat. No, never, never sweat. And feels cool as a cucumber. Matt Berry, Sage Steel, two live hours of Sports Center coming away right now. Uh, Stephen A's coming back on the the long term impact of Draymond Green and that Jordan Poole fight with the Warriors. Yeah. That video tough to watch what it means for their chances of repeating. Plus, in the NFL, we got some fun. The Bills return to Arrowhead for the rematch of the year. We're going to be live in Buffalo and Kansas City to hear how both teams plan to live up to last year's classic. The question, how, do we, how do we live up to yesterday's show? Okay. That's the question. <laughs> oh, he's play, huh? Yeah, you heard of that guy? Yeah. He's all right. <laughs> uh, Marcus Spears joining us now. Okay, biggest game of the year. We always say that. Next game, the biggest one. But this, this does it, feel it, uh, a little bit bigger this year in particular. Jerry says there's a chance that Dak's going to be back, uh, even though he still, he still hasn't even been able to practice. Marcus, he hasn't passed anything medically. Why is this even a conversation at this point? It's very doubtful that he's even off the field. Like, he's sure. been good for what Dallas has needed. But even off the field, I think he's, his maturity level and his understanding of where he is and for his sure. position on the team, it allows for all of this stuff that Jerry does. And Sage, <laughs> when is the last time Jerry cared about what the players thought anyway? The man going to say what he want to say. You know this better than anybody. Yeah. I'm just saying if the man came in practice, I, I, it's Wednesday. Why are we even listen, talking about it? Listen, but that, that's what we do. One plus one is three, according <laughs> to Jerry Jones. And Marcus said it. Kind of true, Matt. <laughs> that's you how you know too. it's actually true. That's why right, I'm excited to get into this uh, with Marcus Spears and Jeff Saturday. Obviously, you're not NBA players, never were. Maybe. Maybe you could have been, right? I know. See, I'm questioning you. However, you were not. You focused on football. Professional athletes, Leaders, most importantly, both of you were leaders throughout your NFL careers. And Draymond Green, he prides himself, he always has, about being a leader. So if you're in that Warriors locker room and you see leaders, your leader behave like this, Marcus, you start. What needs to happen in order for you to accept it and then move on? First and foremost, I couldn't dis- Why, why yeah. not suspend him? And that's nothing that we can oh. answer right now. But I yeah. think that's a statement, yeah. unfortunately, by the Warriors organization that they made by not doing it. And by the way, you mentioned right. Jordan Poole not being able to really recover from it. I mean, Steve Kerr said it. This has drastically changed Yo. what this organization is about and the chemistry within this locker room for the defending champ. So it's unfortunate. Everybody loves Draymond, he, really. He, hey, he allowed this, it. Y'all go, y'all go ahead and he allowed it. it. Y'all go ahead and he defend, allowed but y'all hey, know Steve Swaggoo Kirk, don't Steve give a Kirk. damn about no smoke like that. No. That's just disrespect, yeah. bro. We are all yeah. on the same page. Hey, we shall Steve, see Steve how Kirk, this plays Steve out Kirk allowed this it season. Too. Yep. He did. The leadership mm -hmm. allowed it. He Matt, allowed it. No chance. Good stuff, guys. Thank you all for right. your take on it. The Cowboys had prepare uh, to take on the Philadelphia Eagles, the undefeated Eagles, the NFC East Division showdown. What is the plan for Dak as far as this recovery process goes, trying to get him ready? What is the plan today? Yes, it's pretty clear that Dak Prescott has two other significant injuries to address. In closing, McCarthy says pass rushers Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence, the only tandem in the league to rank in the top 10 in pass rush win rate, will be limited in practice. But at this point, Sage, they do expect they'll play on Sunday. That is good news considering how Jalen Hurts and that Eagles offense has been playing for sure. But first things first, practice today. See how he throws to the receivers if he's able to do it. Fingers crossed. Ed Werder with the latest from Dallas. Thank you, Ed. Matt? Ed Woodard should get a bonus in his Venmo for or else for sure. OK, how about some hockey as of now an avalanche is the most dangerous force in all of hockey. Last season, last postseason, the Avs rolled down the mountain, taken out Western Conference opponents with ease, and then they dethroned the defending back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions, the Tampa Bay Lightning, to hoist their first Stanley Cup for Colorado since 2001. Our Greg Wyshynski previews how Colorado can make its trek back up that mountain and repeat as Stanley Cup champs. Association into allegations that they had engaged in retaliatory conduct against players. Cromwell did say she is reviewing her legal options. Yes, Sage, and yesterday there was more fallout from last week's release of the Yates report on sexual misconduct in the NWSL and the failures of management in the league and at U.S. Soccer to address it when the owner of the Portland Thorns of the NWSL and the Portland Timbers of MLS, Mayor Paulson, stepped down as CEO of both teams. Yeah. With more, here's Jeremy Schaaf. It's the match La Liga fans look forward to all season, and it's only four, count them, four days away. We're out in Madrid facing Barcelona for the 250th edition of El Clasico. That's on Who Sunday. Who doesn't love El Clasico? Two teams are tied atop the table with 22 points each, and for more than 100 years, this fixture has provided historic moments. And as ESPN Deportes' Pilar Perez shows us, many of the biggest moments have come from Latin America's 
biggest stars. For college football yeah, preparation. Yeah, my hotel in time in Orlando to turn on turn on the television. Go ahead, give us that. give us a tease, a promo of Thursday night football. Is a good game. UCF, their space game tomorrow night against Kurt Warner's kid who plays quarterback. I Temple. love it. Hurry up and get to Bradley International. Get Hall to of Fame spawn. This really.